Pushing the illest up in the business I'm hoping to make a killing Get at me, get at me Going coast to coast Going coast to coast We going coast to coast Coast to coast Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Football Talk. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about basically the aftermath of what happened after the LSU-Alabama game. I'm also going to be talking about, I, I guess, like a little recap of that game itself. So, um, I guess I'll start off with that little recap. For those of you who did not see this game, your man card needs to be revoked. That that game has such high expectations. It was expected to be a great football game. It was a great football game. You just need to have seen it. There's, I don't know how you could have missed it. But anyways, um, great game, low scoring game. I know not a lot of people like that, but you know what? It's those kind of games that are the best. Those. Low scoring, just hard fought football, smash mouth, in your face, just pure defensive battle, which is what it was. <clears throat> Not a single team scored a touchdown, which, you know, I've been a defensive guy, whether it's watching football or playing football, so I love defense, and that was a great game, in my opinion. And, um, you know, Alabama, it was a real heartbreaker. I mean, to start off the game missing two field goals, there might have been three. Um, I know they missed that one in overtime, so that might have been a third one. Also, you had that block field goal. I mean, that, that that's just a pure shame. And, uh, I mean, they really dominated LSU most of the game. They, they really did. The offense played at a higher level than LSU's offense. The defense played at a higher level for the most part. Um... Trent Richardson, he is my pick for the Heisman. He had a, a great game. He ran the ball very well. Um, he had uh, 61 yards off of two receptions in the first half. I mean, that that's uh, that's great right there. I mean, found holes in the LSU's coverage. They attacked it with Trent Richardson. He plowed right through people. Very explosive run game. Alabama was there. I believe A.J. McCarron outplayed both Jordan Jefferson and Jarrett Lee. But you know what? It didn't lead to a victory. I mean, you can blame it on the special teams, but you know what? At the end of the day, LSU was able to prevail. So I got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, great plays. Um, one was that interception by Eric Wright in the third quarter, I, I believe it was. Might have been fourth. I'm sorry. Um, that interception stopping a possible Alabama first and goal or even a touchdown. Um, Eric Wright just goes up. Bring He brings the Alabama receiver down. And as the Alabama receiver is coming down, he's bobbling the football. Eric Wright just takes it right from him and ends up being an interception, which was a phenomenal defensive play. And I applaud him for that. So, I mean, LSU, like I said, I do believe they got dominated by Alabama. But, you know what, they're still a very great football team. Made lots of key plays, which led to a victory in their part. I mean, also, Alabama's poor play calling in overtime. I think that also played a key into to their downfall. So, LSU won the game. It shows that they're the better team especially in the standings. And um, last night, I looked at the BCS rankings, and I'll be honest with you, I'm very surprised where Alabama is ranked right now. Alabama, they're only in third place, which I expected them to be fourth or fifth behind Oklahoma State, Stanford, Boise State. Now, the way it's listed now, LSU is number one, Oklahoma State is number two, Alabama is number three. I disagree with this. I think Alabama should still be number two. There is no way you can say Oklahoma State is a better team than Alabama. There is no way. I mean, if you look at 
Look at Oklahoma State. They really played a bunch of nobodies. Louisiana Lafayette, Arizona, Tulsa, Kansas, Missouri, Baylor, Texas A&M, and most recently Kansas State. Uh, the teams I just listed are in no particular order. I'm just going off of what I saw. Um, and look, Oklahoma State, I mean, they narrowly beat Texas A&M. They edged Texas by 12 points. I mean, uh, last or Saturday night against Kansas State, they allowed Kansas State to put up 45 points on them. That's not going to fly in the SEC. Y you allow Kansas State to put 45 points on you? What do you think LSU could have done? LSU is putting up... 50, 60 points guaranteed. If you're going to allow Kansas State to put up 45, LSU is going to blow you out of the water. And Alabama held LSU to three field goals. That's really good. That, that Alabama is a far more superior team than Oklahoma State. Hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, Alabama, they played a tougher schedule and the better conference. They're they are far better than Oklahoma State. And I could probably say that Stanford is better than Oklahoma State. So if they put Stanford at number two, which I would still disagree, I would still say Bama's number two. But I can understand that more than Oklahoma State. Because Stanford, you got Andrew Luck, a great offensive line, which is giving Luck a lot of time. They make that Stanford's running game look a lot better than what it is. So, I can kind of see Stanford at two, but like I said, I still disagree with that. Al it should be LSU one, Alabama two, and then the rest, it don't matter because those are the top two teams. <clears throat> now, after this game, there's a lot of speculation. Is there going to be a rematch? I, I would say I doubt it. Because you know, there's never an in conference championship game. There's not. There's no in conference bowl games. But um, if you look at Oklahoma State's remaining schedule, Texas Tech, who upset Oklahoma, so they're they're no pushover. Then they have Iowa State, and then Oklahoma State has to play Oklahoma. So, I mean, if you're going to allow Kansas State to put up 45 points. I'm real nervous for you in these couple games. Texas Tech, air raid offense, throw the ball all day long. Who knows how that's going to work out. That's probably going to be a high scoring game right there. Iowa State, Oklahoma State's going to win that. I'll give them that. But the last game in the season, December 3rd against Oklahoma, you're not getting away with that. When Oklahoma, they, they got upset by Texas Tech, but you know what? Oklahoma's the best team in the Big 12. And they're not going to go down without a fight. And they're still hungry and still pissed off over that loss against Texas Tech. So, I would definitely give Oklahoma Sooners the advantage over Oklahoma State any day of the week in that game. So, I'm thinking Oklahoma State is going to fall. They're going to lose that game. So, then you would have to put Alabama at two. You would just have to. Because LSU is probably going to ride out. Alabama is probably going to ride out win the rest of the games this season. And that just depends on if LSU loses in the SEC Championship, which now looks like it could be against Georgia. So let's see how that goes. That that That's going to be a very good game right there. So I was really against, well, I shouldn't say against, but didn't expect a... Um, in conference championship, but right now I think it's a very good possibility. And you know, I think Bama was a better team on Saturday. They should have won that game. And then national championship, they have the possibility to play LSU again in Louisiana. So that that's going to be a great game. It's on a bigger stage this time. LSU gets a little bit more of a home field advantage. So I mean, it's pretty interesting to see how that goes. I mean that 
after this Alabama game, that was it really shook up things. But I think it might actually play out to that rematch, especially uh, if Oklahoma State loses during their next three games, which I think is a very good possibility against Oklahoma. So we probably went from no in-conference championship to it's a very good possibility because Bama is a lot better than Oklahoma State. They're a lot better than Boise State, better than Stanford, better than Oklahoma. I mean, the BCS, the objective of the BCS is to find the top two teams in college football. There are no two teams better than LSU and Alabama. So, that's probably going to be my guess on the national championship. Things are expected to change, as always. It's college football. It's any given Saturday. So, uh, yep, I think that's going to do it for me. Um, leave your comments, questions down below. Follow me on Twitter at RJ Football Talk. And with that, thank you for watching and keep on tuning in, guys.